he gestured toward Henry a wave of the hand and he goes, well, the guy's a Christian. Uh-huh. And I said, what am I, Chop Liver Man? <laughs> How come you think of Christian, you think of him? Ladies and gentlemen, dogs and please pull up a chair and sit on your knees for we have a story to tell you that we are still learning about and an extra person that's joining us today that we already told you about. Welcome to Talk the Walk. My name is Henry Moses. And my name's Gabriel Moses. And we are super happy to be here. And thank you for joining us wherever you may be. And you her did, name. You did all that in one breath. I know. Oop. And then had to take a deep breath. And her name is. Jenny Tucker. Big sister slash little sister. And you're stuck with us how? Well, I guess Gabe just said it. He ruined what I was thinking about what I was going to say. Hey, you ruined the cliffhanger. I'm a middle child, and I'm I'm, I'm annoying yeah. to y'all because I'm... Yes. I got to do it. <laughs> so we... Uh, so we... We have the same We had parents. to get... Huh? We have the same parents. We do have the same parents, and, and, and I'm just going to tell this funny little story. Uh, we're, we're all getting here, sitting ready to record. And, uh, and I start, you know, we're talking, we got our headphones on and it sounds just like we are doing on the show <laughs> and I'm talking and saying something. I don't even know what I was saying. What was I saying? Anything important? I mean, y'all were praying and, and we all had our yes. headphones on. So, and, and Jenny was already in it's go time mode. Thought we were on. Thought yes. we were recording. <laughs> yes. We need an on air light. <laughs> so I'm sitting there and I'm talking to Jenny and, and. And kind of talking to him kind of casually, and Jenny's like, was kind of mouthing to me, are you going to introduce me? Like, what are we doing here? Yeah, they're going to wonder. They're going to wonder why. Yeah, you're just talking Who's like this? everybody should know who this extra yeah. person is. <laughs> well, we've only been talking about Jenny for, what, a year now? This is just right. a pick up. Oh, this is Jenny. Here. This yeah. is Jenny. I'm still yeah. in there. Jenny and Jenny's <laughs> not only our sister who we love and work together, who we've talked about that. The boss. Um, and the boss, that's true, but you ain't the boss here, but yeah. <laughs> I'm not the boss there. there y'all both know that. <laughs> but she kills it over there, but but not only that, um, but she's our fact checker. Yes. Yeah. Jenny will fact check the podcast. Yeah. And one of our biggest fans and supporters who we appreciate. And constant criticizer. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But but you do it in like a good it. way. Yeah. I like it because I like to know well, yeah. what do you think? I mean I love the show. We need info. It's good. But definitely we don't want to go around doing faux pas all day long. <laughs> you know. Well, I mean, but it makes it interesting. <laughs> it's for me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I guarantee you, you're probably not the only person. Uh-uh, there's no way. No. <laughs> listening. Rabbit trail. Yeah. In fact, I'm shocked if we get through one. Literal rabbit That Jenny trail. doesn't yeah. call us out on something. It was like, oh, did you know? And she acts like it's so easy to just have it all right. So for all the listeners, <laughs> what you can do now is criticize her. You can get her. Not what you can do, what you should do. <laughs> she might, if she says something, we need new fact checkers. If I get a fact wrong, just throw it out one. there. Get, yeah. Have fun with it. Yeah. <laughs> we, yeah. We need the audience to help. I'll be glad you. to know. It'll be embarrassing. Is it, it's embarrassing for y'all. It is embarrassing. Every now and then, every now and then I'm like, oh, <laughs> that did sound a little, little far fetched. And you think, ridiculous. And you think, <laughs> I, uh, and I know that. Whenever someone brings it to your attention, you're like, I do know that. That's Why did I part. say that? Why did I say that stupid thing? But it's, uh, but I like it just because it's... Monologue. It's, it's yeah, dialogue. Right, dialogue. <laughs> dialogue. You know? That was the biggest one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> monologue being a one-person mm-hmm. phrase, a converse, just one person, there's no... He's got to prove he knows it. I know, I know. He's got to give the definition. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) I'm like, what what you doing over there, big brother? (laughs) I'm in the captain's chair, man. I know what's up. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, so that one, and then you hit me with the fruit of the spirit, not the fruits of the spirit. Oh, I didn't even mean to hit you on that. I think I hit that one. Maybe you did. I don't know. And it's something that I've thought about before. Yeah. But I thought... That is true, which is a really weird thing. But I don't want to dive into that. We'll dive into that here in a little bit with the topic. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, so, Jim, what do you think? How's it feel being on the 
It's it's different. It sounds like you're on the radio sitting here. Yeah. Like, you like the way you sound? N- no. 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 But either. you get over that. Yeah. I mean, I okay. think. I, I think learned I'm, it a long time ago. It was shocking when I first heard my voice. On a voicemail. Yeah. But it's so weird. It's, it is what it is. Yeah. But you have a good voice. Oh. You do have a good voice. It's smooth yeah. and well-spoken. One might say good for, it's gentle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> maybe right now it is because I'm feeling all timid it sounds yeah. gentle but right now y- you know it, it does. is that way <laughs> it does. It does. well you describe yourself as Mary and Martha I do yeah so that means you have gentle times yeah and not yeah. so gentle no. times yeah when I'm off it in Headley then then I'm gentle you know. I'd say when you're doing the Lord's work for sure that's when you yeah. feel the most yeah gentle and mm-hmm. you're just happy being in there and serving mm-hmm. and but all things under the lord right <laughs> <laughs> yeah. i'm picturing a few choice words i used yesterday <laughs> yeah well but we all do i mean sitting here doing this that, that that is the most that's the best part to me i don't know i feel bad saying that because also sharing the gospel is the most important thing yes, yeah. right yeah but but i also learn a lot from doing this and sitting yeah. because you have to sit there and think about it and you have to ponder it, chew on it. Right. And then you're still thinking about it afterwards and, and you feel so convicted and, mm-hmm. and which I do. I mean, just sitting there, we're, we're going to do the one on gentleness today. Um, and, and I can think of a million times and, and oh, I don't want to dive into it. No, nope, no, it's not because I'm saving in. this for when we get into it. <laughs> We're chilling right now. We we are we are chilling. But it but the best. But for me personally in my life, I mean, it does affect me. And I think y'all have noticed yeah. some of it, right? Recently, you're hoping. Uh, but I've actually no, heard from no, one yes. of y'all's mouths or or <laughs> something. I've, I have said it, and it no. because you know, and that's the whole idea. That's the whole reason for diving into the word. Mm-hmm. And taking the time to meditate mm-hmm. on it, it just chews you up and spits you out in a good way. Well, and you can't meditate on the word day and night if you don't know it. So I yeah. think your podcast is forcing you more into the word. Yes, it's getting in there, which and, that's yeah. embarrassing to say. I would, well, you know, I mean, but the I mean, whole world's out; it's we're busy. You yeah. Know? So most people don't take the time or don't even know that they could possibly do it until you're forced into a situation where you do. I would echo that on the highest intensity. Mm -hmm. Of the highest intensity, this podcast has been the most consistent um, discipline I've had that's forced me to read the Word and think on the subjects of the Bible than anything in my life ever Mm -hmm. has been. Mm -hmm. And that's very lame to say. You have a bunch of kids. so. But before that, I was 31 when I had my first kid. And it, and and even then, Young. you know, just and and a little bit younger, but you know, and big sister always looking out. I'm really big brother. Big, throw you under the bus. Yeah, Jenny. I'm big feeling, sister's like, no, it's okay. I'm feeling <laughs> hugged by Jenny right now. <laughs> yeah, like, thank yeah. you. He's my little brother. But well, before that, before I had any kids, young. <laughs> young. I'm like hey. somehow that's not the way it works with me. Nope. <laughs> does, does it work that way with God? She's like, <laughs> you that. son of a. <laughs> I love you, you son of a. Get your face in your Bible. <laughs> yeah. Get to church more, more. Oh, I know. You said the other day that you called me from jail, and I said, no, I can't come get you. I was like, what? Uh-oh. I didn't say that. No, I said, but Henry can. Oh, yeah, right. you couldn't because... At first, it hurt my heart so bad when he said that. I couldn't even picture it. <laughs> but then I said, but Henry can't... That makes sense. Yeah, and Honestly, you did I throw a... Here's, yeah. what, here's what we'll do. Uh-huh, there's a plan there. It hurt you that you uh-huh. didn't come to the rescue couldn't for me? It. <laughs> well, hey. No, never mind. I was going to say something that I will not say. Never mind. Okay, good. I'm going to save somebody somebody's feelings. My, yeah. Boom, I caught it. I love it. Nobody in here. I got, I got it. It almost came out of my mouth. And but, I was like, some, but a listener? A listener would go, what? <laughs> Why would you say that? I'm like, oh, I got it. I'm so proud of myself right now. Was it Carrie? No. I'll just okay. say that, and that's the last thing I will say. No, I've already screwed up with Carrie a time or two on here myself. You know, it can oh, be. Oh, gosh, I know. I, I hear it. And I didn't I'm mean like, it in a bad way. Uh, doesn't matter. But it's, yeah. it's on recording for all. Well, you hear. learn. Mm-hmm. You learn. Well, you better watch think, your mouth. Think what you're saying. Think and then Miles has told us that we're held to a higher standard, mm-hmm. and, and you know, mm-hmm. so we can't say the c word. 
C R A C R A P. Yeah, we can't say yeah. that. Can we spell, can spell it? it I, I felt <laughs> like yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> it depends on the intensity you say the word, right. how yeah. you said it, what context. So it's just true. spelling. I think we're good. Mm-hmm. I mean, because I, I hope we're good. I used to be a horrible sailor, you might say. You know, let yeah. Out my, yeah, my mouth was just spouting junk. I can't even say the. See, that's what I'm saying. I had to find other replacement ways. words to substitute. Jill, Jill for, helped. Jill helped me with that biscuit. Well, instead of you know, yes, instead the biscuit, of the, the big, you know, the yes. the replace the big ones. <laughs> with you know, everybody will. knows what you mean, but yes. it just biscuit. still is less. Of, I know they say it's still just as bad, okay. but it's just less offensive. I saw a TikTok the other day, and it had this this guy that was he was of a foreign. Uh, I bet Middle East. He was like Middle Eastern. And it, this was a crazy TikTok. He was grabbing this girl who looked like she was about 19 and like telling her, you do not say, you do not say that word in my house. And she was using the F-bomb. And he was like, that is not allowed. And he, he told her, get out of my house, pack your stuff and get out of my house. And I checked the comments and stuff. And the people were like, I've seen a lot worse in mm-hmm. the Asian religion, if you cross over um, things you shouldn't do in the home, how you speak or act. And then um, this one was Middle Eastern. And I have personally also heard of really harder. The the guy mm-hmm. just grabbed her by her arm and she was like, don't touch me. And you can't do this. And he was like, get out of me. You do not say the F word in my house. And it just made me think uh, I need to be, I need to pay attention to the potty mouth. It, the words fly sometimes, mm-hmm. and uh, not a lot, not much. I'm I'm a thousand times better than I used to be. Yeah. But every now and then, I get at my wits end, and it does fly out. And I think about oh, people yeah. like that that are like, "That is not allowed in my home." And it's conviction. The yeah. guy was convicted, and he was mm-hmm. clearly religious. Yeah. And uh, but boy, he he held the line hard enough to say, "You're out of here. You don't speak language like that." That's sort of a oh, Con Air oh, quote. Yeah, Jenny, you, yeah. yeah. you got it. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. And it does make you think about where where do I draw the line in my life on the rules of the Bible? What does it say? It says no to this. But how we can't get them all right, but are we working on it? The cut, yeah, is know, it, does it matter to you? We're working, does, does it, it matter, matter to you? And I guess according to Holy Father Barfield, mm-hmm. it's about to be, by the way, Dr. Holy Father oh, Barfield. Really? He's just about, yeah, he said he's turning in his thesis for his doctorate. Wow. I didn't even realize. I knew he'd been working on it for a long time. I am not surprised. Yeah. So we got to yeah. call him Doc Barfield, I guess, now. Doc B. You just call him Doc. Doc. Just Doc. Ooh, yeah. That's way cooler. I Dude, think just Doc. Doc is cool. Doc. Yeah. Doc does Barfield he, doesn't have the same ring as Does he Doc. deserve that does cool he? of a title, Doc? Yeah. I mean, if we're going to be honest about it, he, he is such a cool he is dude. so cool. He, he would <laughs> never claim that, and he had, he's going to be embarrassed that we're saying that. But I, just, it's just but deep down, he around. knows it. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I, I asked a friend the other day if he was cooler than me, and this friend straight up said, yeah. <laughs> yeah, who it was, it was Justin. Justin. Yeah. Yep. My yeah, friend Justin. I was, was. It was a yeah. joke. I was going to tell him, hey, are you cool? The most humble dude in all the land. Of yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 But it was hilarious. I said, hey, Justin, are you, I texted him, are you cooler than me? And he goes, yeah. And I said, well, that must make me hotter than you. Yeah, and he, he loved that. And he was too. like, he goes, no, you're not. Yeah. <laughs> Just <laughs> like you're not. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Uh, Barfield is, he is. That cool. Mm-hmm. I like it. The cool dude. Yeah. Let's do, do some verses. Cool let's, let's do, do some, verses. let's do some, oh, says the man right. that, that didn't memorize I'm one. So make it, I, I'm making room for the guest. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, I think everybody that's listening knows better than that. Cause they it's probably like didn't. your third time to just bail out. No, it's not. Oh yes, it is. I'm keeping fact, fact, checkers. on, me. fact checkers here. That's not right. This would be, this would be three. Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to hurt you, but I'm not 100%. I am 100%. There was one that you went with. I think I had suggested yes. this, actually, that you were like, Jesus wept or something like that. No. Just a quick one or yeah, yeah, you know, something that I was, was like off the top of your head, but yeah, everybody knew it was like, 
you know, Take it like easy. that verse, there is there one for that you no condemnation know. for those in Christ. You know, <laughs> yep. one of one those that everybody's got on the top. That I already have. I mean, <laughs> mine are always rocking. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Brand new things. Oh, stuff notable. Always new. Always stuff, new, yeah. Stuff, you know, straight out of, uh-huh. uh, today's out of Nahum. I bet nobody can see what well, mine's going to be oh, out I of I can't Nahum. wait to hear Nahum. Uh, Nahum. I am interested in that, but it's ladies first. You want to go first or you want me to go first? I'm like scared my brain's going to go blank. Okay, so you want me to go first so I don't give you time to think about it while, while we kind of talk about this? Well, here's the thing. Mine uh, does segue into uh, gentleness. So okay. I feel oh, no, like I should go, go second. second. Yeah, okay. that definitely All right, is. so ladies first. That definitely <laughs> so, well, you, you don't have one memorized or I'd let you. I will not participate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Nahum 1 7. The Lord is good. And I try to say it. You know, it kind of helps me. <laughs> yes, I'm I'm buying time. But I do try to say it. I do when I'm trying to do it, what well, helps me to just a little tip for those out there. I try to say it in a way that I feel like the person was saying it. All powerful. In the moment. Right, all powerful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Awesome. But but no, y'all case, always do that. That's where the Captain Kirk Paul comes from. Help it. Yes. Yeah. Anybody who comes we in raised here, on Kirk. I mean, yeah. If you come, if you're you're reading something that you know is powerful, it's the Bible. It's the living word. It's powerful. Mm-hmm. You can't help but say it in a loud, deep voice. <laughs> you can't to drum to make it that. I do it's, it when I'm by myself. <laughs> I mean, you're not supposed to do it on podcast, huh? <laughs> right. All right. But if we just say it like normal, it's gonna be. It's boring. not as powerful. See no. if you Let's can do it. see if you okay. can say it normal. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't want to say it. Mm-hmm. Right, the right. Lord, the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of need. You gave me a confusing look. A no, stronghold in the day of need. He knows those who take refuge in Him. Are you saying and the cool Sorry, thing: the Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of need. He He knows those who take refuge in Him. And the cool thing, so is when you're memorizing a scripture, you kind of, a lot of the times, I'll, I'll be memorizing that scripture, but then I'm like, why is this guy saying this? Right, right. But you should. And so Nahum, of course, is a prophet, and he's going off about, I mean, going off in chapter one about how, what the Lord's about to do to the enemies mm-hmm. of Israel. And it's rough stuff. Like, who dare to stand against the power of God? He mm-hmm. crushes the rocks with his gaze, you know, and all yeah. this stuff. Oh, I love it. And then right in the middle of it, he says that the Lord is good. Yeah. I just feel like he pauses. Like he's thinking about all this, and then he just reflecting, pauses to think about it. I, I feel like he's got a smile on his face, and he just says the Lord is good. Mm-hmm. A stronghold in time of need. And what I visualized whenever I was kind of thinking about that was – the movie Twister. Can y'all think of a, a scene in Twister when you would think of a stronghold in time of need? At all? I mean, I mean, there's a lot of mm, when, you know, they're, there's the, when they're there's strapped the gutter that, scene. Yeah, yeah, strap, that's a good one. When they're yes. strapped, to yeah, that, that's, that's what. Good. Yes, that's, good. that's what I envision. Uh, oh yeah, you need that yeah. stronghold. Like they've got that leather belt wrapped yeah. around, clinging to that stronghold, right? That like pipe or whatever it was that was coming out right, of the 30 ground. Thirty feet down, was, at least. Yes. And they're strapped. They're like, this is our stronghold. Yeah. This now, we, this is what we got. Right. Now, I think in this case, they're actually talking about a stronghold, which is something that you take refuge in because they go on to talk about that. But I imagine, I just imagine clinging to him. No, look at the definition of a stronghold. It's what you're saying. It oh, is what, that's on. what I was thinking. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. okay. So they're just, you got to cling to him in the, t- in the day of need. Well, and he clings to you. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes, by his my and he and then it says, and he knows those who take or he know, yeah he knows those who take refuge in him. It just he knows what we need. Mm-hmm. He knows where our hearts at, as imperfect as it is. I just imagine him, like you said, clinging to us mm-hmm. and looking down and smiling at us, and we're sitting there shaking, scared, wet, mm-hmm. you know, afraid. Yep. And we run out of daddy. And I know that that is every time, like everything business, uh, ministry, friendships, relationships, whatever can be falling apart. And when I pick up that Bible and open it, just even the second I start opening it, mm-hmm. it's like a power just reaches out and grabs me. Mm-hmm. And I feel safe. I feel like 
the Lord knows me. I mean, that's know, what Creighton, you know, that's what Creighton's, because Creighton, he, y'all have talked about him a few times. He's, mm-hmm. he's 18, and mm-hmm. when he was little, we found him asleep, and he'd written Jesus on his arm. He's yes, little, like I two. I love that picture. And his whole life, yeah. he's just had the Bible on his app, and if he's looking down any any what anything he's Probably doing at Bible. any family function or in the middle of whatever, it's reading his Bible. And I asked him one time a couple of years ago, how is it that you just devote mm-hmm. yourself like mm-hmm. that? And he it's said, crazy. well, when I don't read it, I forget that good feeling I get when I do read it. Yes. Mm-hmm. Stay so near. He knows Stay that near. nearness. That nearness is. He's got you. And I did just craves. look up that definition, just a new stronghold. And it Type says, it out there, yeah. A place that has been fortified so as to protect it against attack. Yeah. Yeah, it's a stronghold. Just completely, yeah. To Which is what was happening with that pot. I it's mean, our stronghold. Otherwise, mm-hmm. you're going to get sucked up, mm-hmm. torn yeah. apart. To protect you. Yeah. And, just, it just, and it does feel like a stronghold. I mean, it, but it's crazy how often... We as Christians get away from that, you know. Well, oh, and, yeah. and again, that's why we, that's why I think God does things in your life to bring you where you need oh, yeah. to be, to keep you closer to and Him. And faithfulness. For, for you and yeah. I doing this podcast <clears throat> in my life um, at home, Carrie, Carrie's a wife that draws mm-hmm. me. See, I volunteer at mm-hmm. church. Now, I never had volunteered at church before I mm-hmm. got married to Carrie. In fact, I think it was before, just a little before, but doing work in the children's ministry and uh, uh, you need and you need christian brothers mm-hmm. and sisters the brotherhood the church mm-hmm. to pull you in and then you hopefully you turn around and do that to someone else keep, help them mm-hmm. but we need these things to discipline us and keep us with god like keep me with you cuz we do you're right we're All right. we're flaky anytime i dive back in after i've taken time off or whatever and you feel that comfort, comfort, feel it. and you just think, why? Why did I not? Mm-hmm. Why have I not been in the scripture? I'm you know, so why have stupid. I not be? Or even just spending time in prayer while laying in mm-hmm. bed, or whatever mm-hmm. the case is, you think, why do I do this? Why don't we talk more often? You know, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, it's not because of God, and it's not because He's too busy. Mm-mm. Yep, and He's God. Yep. It's you. Because with it's our you. one life, we're too busy. Mm-hmm. Well, and time. you know, developing. That routine, just a little mm-hmm. bit of one. I because that happens to all of us. I decided I'm gonna get something that's attainable, mm-hmm. but it's just ridiculous mm-hmm. if I don't do it. Which was five minutes of prayer and seven scriptures in the morning before I get started. Mm-hmm. That's it. I like that. That's it. Mm-hmm. That's all. And if you're not gonna do that, then you you know, for me personally, <laughs> you really got a. Problem. I felt like if you, you know you love the Lord and yeah, it's it's not that I don't love Him, but really things should be questioned if you can't devote that much time in yes. my life I don't have small yes. children anymore you know they're all no, out anybody, of the house anybody can I'm not going to judge everybody but I'm just saying in yeah, my life I'll, I'll where it's it. at right now you know yeah. there's just no reason in the world uh, not to be mm-hmm. able to do that you know mm-hmm. so that really if any that once I developed that and obviously I don't go with seven scriptures once I start reading it's more mm-hmm. yeah I give myself a latch. I've done like... It's like the piano lesson. Sharon, yeah, Sharon, like Sharon said, you know, if you take 45-minute lessons... 20. Oh, yeah. That's, that that's you right. should commit to... You're committing to practicing 45 minutes at home every day. That's what well, she, she told, told me. she told me 20. Okay, so maybe 20. I can't, yeah. It's been 20 a bit. Minutes. Uh-huh. But, but um, and I thought, ooh, that's true, because clearly that meant that I wasn't practicing as much as I should have been at the beginning. Mm-hmm. Now I can't get away from it. I can't get enough of it. Um, but... But same same concept. Mm-hmm. I mean, she said, "Well, you I forgot bet to you, finish bet you. that." She yes. said, "I would tell her, Sharon, I don't ever do twenty minutes. I sit down to do right. the twenty minutes, and I end up sitting there for an right. hour or two hours." And she goes, "Yeah, that's the whole point." Yeah, <laughs> I yeah. tell you get twenty, you the, but <laughs> get you in the seat. Yes, yep, get in the seat. Uh-huh. Yes, because you, you won't be able to stop. Then you get on right. a roll. I bet you can't eat just one chip. Says yeah, Pringles. That's it. Yeah. You know, same thing. You get into those scriptures, and it's like ah. I, I go for an hour and I'm like, I need more time. I, I just want to dig deeper and deeper and deeper, yes. you know, but, but get in there. Or for me, it's Proverbs. I always read a proverb, Ooh. you know, whatever yes. prov- proverb goes with I it love, every day. And I, I love, love those proverbs. So much wisdom. All right. So that's, we're going to take up all the time with my scripture. What you okay. got, sister? All right. Do it. 
I don't think y'all should look at me. Okay. 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 All right. I'm looking up. Right. Away. Away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will love you, O oh Lord, my strength. The Lord is my fortress and my redeemer and my salvation, my God in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. He will deliver me and he is worthy to be praised. I will call upon the Lord and he shall save me from my enemies. I feel like you're showing off. Sound familiar though? Oh yeah. I mean, I'm fortress and stronghold. Yeah, yeah that's well, crazy. That your verse was. Oh, no, I know. Uh-huh. Yeah, I caught that. Uh huh. Which that some of it like I that. lost and improvised just a little, just so we all know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just a just, little bit. <laughs> in case anybody fact check. No, no, no. You know what I do on that? What? In my mind, every time I'm like, if I if I squiggle a, sl- a word or something. I'm like, I don't know what version I'm reading from. That's it. I feel the I same know. way. Yeah. You know, I'm close to I thought enough. about that. On, and what's, <laughs> yeah. that verse, those verses, it's Psalm 18, one through three. Yeah. Okay. And those verses have carried me through. I had a lot of verses. I write down scriptures when I'm reading those verses every day. There's some that just pop out and I put those in the front of the journal that I'm praying in, you know. Am I too loud? No, I, my mic is too loud. Okay. So I'm just turning mine down. Does right. y'all sound good? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, so. go ahead. Okay. Anyway, um, so had a few that I wanted to say, but since that one's carried me through a good 10 years of stuff. Yeah. yeah. And then as I was memorizing it, I was just saying it over and over. It's memorized, but like like I said, with loosely memorized. Yes. And so um, as I was listening, doing it, memorizing, yeah. really saying it over and over today, it started to it does come alive different. in a bigger way. And so... The first verse is always what pulled me in, which is, I will love you, O Lord, my strength. Um, It's just uh, a different way. I mean, you don't mm -hmm. hear anyone say, I will love you. Mm -hmm. You know, it's oath oath level, vows, oath level. I give you my solemn oath, my will. And you have David, then he starts to say who the Lord is to him. My shield and the horn of my salvation. And you know, I don't know if y'all know, but... The horn of my salvation. The horn is referring like a rhinoceros. Mm. It's horn. Mm. It's, oh, it's defense. Not sounding the, the right. The, the horn. It's talking about a horn of my mm-hmm. salvation. That is the salvation of a rhino. You know, or deer. They mm-hmm. do all their. You know, they're battling with the horn. Yeah. So he says all of that, and then he says, oh. um, "I will call upon the Lord." After he says what all the Lord is, and we know this is at the point that David is being mm-hmm. pursued mm-hmm. relentlessly. By song. So yeah. he says I, he says what all God is to him, his fortress and his stronghold, the horn of his salvation, his shield, his refuge. And then he says, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. Mm-hmm. And so I shall be saved from my enemies. So he just that's what he finishes with. So I shall be saved from my enemies because of who God is. Mm-hmm. And that is what... You know, it's powerful. Yeah, it's empowering, and it reminds yeah. us, "Hey, I, I'm with God. Mm-hmm. He's with me." Mm-hmm. And of course, all so that. I shall be saved. And I know what His promise is to me because mm-hmm. because David had already been anointed future king mm-hmm. at that point. Yeah, right. But you would imagine that if it wasn't for that promise and understanding mm-hmm. of God that. In that moment, I mean, you'd have to be thinking, are you, you going to save me here? Mm-hmm. So or then he's reminding time, himself. You know, yes. You know, reminding himself and saying, I will love him. you, yes. Lord. He may have had yeah. some doubt. Oh, yeah, because he would whine. Yeah. Right. He was, yeah. He would definitely Absolutely. whine. Yeah. It's the thing I love about David. He's he very would, human. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah very. Yeah. 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 Complete mm-hmm. human, but always would turn to God. Yeah. So uh, no, uh, I call him the warrior whiny opponent. But a uh, warrior why, whiny, whiny poet. poet. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Whiny now. warrior <laughs> poet. The whiny warrior poet. That's it. Whiny <laughs> warrior poet. Yes. Whiny God, that's harder to say than I thought it was going to be. But yeah. Carrie and I were playing it. She we were just having this fun conversation the other day, and it was like, she has always related so much to Peter. She's like, I'm Peter. Mm-hmm. I took my foot in my mouth, you know, and I'm brash and I do things I should have thought through and I didn't. And I got in trouble and I just, you know, I'm Peter. And, then we started saying, and I was like, well, who do you, who would you say I am in the Bible? Let's play this. Let's have some fun, you know, which I'm going to pose to y'all here in a second. Okay. 
And but anyway, she threw out David, and I'm not even man. I'm not going to play. I was like, yeah, <laughs> David, <laughs> come yeah. on, oh yeah. He's emotional. <laughs> he he danced in the street, and his wife's like, don't do yeah. that. And then, but he also fought the lion, the bear, Goliath. He's a warrior, but he's also emotional. I was like, I, I like that. Mm-hmm. And I, of course, mm-hmm. I, you know, I was like, I, I like that. That makes me feel good. Mm-hmm. I guess it does. Yeah. Now you, yeah. Who do you think you would be? Who do I think I'd be? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Fun little something. Maybe. Probably Paul for sure. Paul. <laughs> but the good Paul. The good one. I was about to say like. <laughs> no, like, I don't know. Good I don't, Paul? I don't know. I mean, I, mean, I, I, I guess probably Peter. I mean, but You're I think a Peter lot too? of people. I think a lot of people because cause you just make. I mean, I, people take this the wrong way when I say the apostles were idiots, but they were. I mean, before they were sure. during that. Well, yeah. they're people, and right, they're exactly like right. But yeah. boy, when they hit that, when they hit that turning point, it was game on. Yeah. And it was just a, and so I guess I just Changed probably identify you. You put me on the spot, and we don't have much I know. time. Yeah, let's mm-hmm. move so on. Yeah. I fun really, game. that would yeah. be fun. We'll do that next time Jenny's on, because I, I, I kind of want to have that conversation. Yeah, now. Mm-hmm. I feel like we could take up the rest of the podcast. Doing it may be fun to throw out for anybody listening. Wonder who you might be. Yeah, yeah. Jenny, real quick, who would you say you are, Mary and Martha? Right. Yeah. No, okay. That's right. That's okay. right. See, I want to elaborate more yeah. on that. I'm like, right. this is good discussion. Yeah. So, yeah. well, let's do this. Let's say, let's save that for the next time Jenny's on. Sounds great. Cool. That sounds like a plan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. I actually thinking about it, and we're definitely going to have to have you on again because, and which that'll just happen now that you're here and you're comfortable with it and all that. Um, but I would like, I, I would like for you to, you know, kind of tell your testimony at some point. You've got a strong testimony and, and so if you're good, we'll mm-hmm. get you on with that. I almost just want to dive into that, but we got to do the fruits of the spirit I know. thing. And so. this is a good one. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And this is a good one. You chose this one. You wanted to be on for this one. So, so we've been doing the fruits of the spirit or the fruit of the spirit out of Galatians five before a fact checker gets me, mm-hmm. um, out of Galatians five. And we're on, again, we're on um, gentleness. Now, I did do a, I did do a live uh, kind of broadcast from Facebook today, kind of talking about this, but I was thinking about it. I talked with Gabe a little bit about it. Um, I realized, Jen, with doing the, with going through these, it's very convicting. Every time we come on one, I'm like, oh, I need to be better at that. I need to be better at that, better at that. And so I started thinking, I, I was thinking about it this morning on the way to work, and I thought, you know, wait a minute. I'm sitting here thinking I need to do each of these better so that I can be closer to God. And that's the opposite of what it's supposed to mm-hmm. be, right? Right. Well, if I, if I act better in kindness, if I act better right. in faithfulness, gentleness, whatever. And so so just a reminder uh, to anybody that's listening, um, put God first. And and yep. and all of these yep. will come. That's mm-hmm. the way it works. All of these will shine through. And if you're not acting in these, then it's like a check engine light that pops on. That's it. You realize, whoa, I handled that rough. Okay, have I been neglecting my relationship with the Lord? Draw Did the I start guy. my day out wrong? Yep. Mm-hmm. You know what? What? Where am I at? Where? Where am I wrong on this? So I can get that straight because <laughs> because it'll humble you. So anyway. Just that little quick point point of note. So we're on to gentleness. Um, I did. So out of the 1828 Noah Webster's Dictionary, um, which was back when it was still pretty pure, um, (laughs) um, here's the definition for it. Softness of manners, mildness of temper, sweetness of disposition, meekness. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's pretty good. Um, I love the last word. I can, yeah, meekness. I see. I like sweetness of dispositions, mildness of temper. Mm-hmm. It's almost like there's there's different times that you can use gentleness, right? But that's kind of my approach. Um, my approach and what Proverbs fifteen one says lately, uh, or no, Proverbs fifteen one always says the same thing. But my approach lately has been to to implement Proverbs fifteen one, a soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. And I'm trying. Like, I, I really am trying to do that. Um, the more I dive into uh, Scripture and, and kind of eliminating 
the, the worldly influences out of my life, the more I'm able to walk in Proverbs 15, one in gentleness, Mm -hmm. but you know, y'all being my siblings and coworkers, I mean, y'all seen me act a fool, you know, I mean, all of us, we all have, um, and it just, man, I think about, I think about what it says to people around me, what it says to Thomas, what it says to Selena, what it says to our 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 new you know people mm-hmm. that that haven't known us forever. There's a lot of people at work that have known us forever, right. but so I've been convicted on what is the way I act and the way I treat people, especially my loved ones or who. What does it say to them? You know, these people know that I I walk under the banner of Christianity. Mm-hmm. So what's it say and how I'm? Oh yeah, the other day, what was it? Henry and I are hanging out with. Uh, another coworker of ours, David, and David um, was describing some person to us, and he he gestured toward Henry a wave of the hand, and he goes, "Well, the guy's a Christian," and he gestured toward Henry, uh-huh. and I said, "What am I, chopped liver man? <laughs> How come you think of Christian, you think of him? What the heck is going on?" And he laughed. Henry laughed. I was like, "Dang, <laughs> you do. They do think of you as they know yeah. you're a right." So that's they a weight. That's a that's a that's a heavy weight. And how you're and how you're representing God, right? And and so, I have to think: like, why why would you not act in gentleness? Well, because I mean that is a very good question, and I think I think it makes me think back to a time a long time ago when I was first in this industry that we're in the mortgage lending. Yeah. It is it's brutal and it's it is dramatic and <laughs> it's rough. People yeah. will come at you from every direction, yep. whether, you know, whatever happened is your fault or not. And for the most bizarre of reasons. For the most bizarre of reasons or for a legitimate reason. Like if true. you yeah, make true. a mistake, get ready. You're going to get eaten yeah, alive. Yeah, there's not a, yeah, there's grace. Not a yeah. lot of grace. Yeah. And so in my first few years in the mortgage industry, I uh, wasn't good at my job. I mean, I just didn't know it. I had no <laughs> mentors. We were on our own. And so yeah. it was just figuring it out, baptism by fire. And, um, I had made a decision. It was, you know, about seven years in. I was a little better at it, but I was gritty from the abuse. Yeah. You know, I was gritty. Yeah. And so if someone had, if someone came against me at all, they were going to get verbally <laughs> punched, you know, and that included, I'm ashamed mm-hmm. to say, but clients, you know, yeah. and y- y'all know my philosophy on that now. No, you know, <laughs> your client, you take, doesn't matter what they do to you, you take care of that client. But yeah. um, I was talking to Leah, our sister. Mm-hmm. And I was telling her, you know, that I had been trying really hard not to verbally punch, just starting with the clients, <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, <laughs> gotta start some. And so not everybody else, but at least with the clients yeah. felt like the Lord brought them to me and how dare I, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. and, um, and, and I told her how hard I was trying and it just that, that gentleness, that soft answer was not coming and she said, this kind of goes back to what you were saying earlier. She's like, well, it doesn't matter how hard you try because yeah. out of the mouth, the heart speaks. Yes. You got to do something about your heart. Yes. And the only way you can fix that heart, because this not being gentle stems from, you know, people were putting things in me, into my heart. Mm-hmm. You know, all of that just mm-hmm. industry abuse yeah. was going into me. It was putting into Plant, my heart and planting, it was coming out of my mouth, like the Bible says. Planting seeds. Planting in seeds. Hate. And that and and then that, you know, someone comes against you, you wanna be gentle, but your adrenal glands get overloaded mm-hmm. and you begin to have that physical reaction and it's hard to control it. So and it, it comes from the heart's fear. You know, Mm -hmm. or pride, maybe. I love it. Okay, I'm going to jump in now here because I've been waiting for the last while you've been me to dag unfinish. No, 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 no. I knew you were going to go right where I've been waiting for ten dang years. No, can't say it. Nope. (laughs) (laughs) So, (laughs) so I knew that you're. This is this all the the fruits. Well, or whatever, however, the fruits of the spirit that we've Uh, talked about on each episode. There's always a killer of the fruit, and it always leads to the same place. What is the enemy of these fruits? And it seems like the number one offender of these fruits is pride. Pride. Mm -hmm. Every time, pride kills these things Mm -hmm. so quick. Yep. And To me, I agree. I think it's pride and fear. Well, I like the fear. I like the fear. I think it's both. Mm -hmm. Because fear is insecurity. 
you know, turns into anger and defense right. yep. mm-hmm, instead of gentleness. But which, it, is, which it does. It's a chain yeah. reaction. But um, fear, I've, I, you don't hear of it being used mm-hmm. in a sinful way. But like the the seven deadly sins, is that biblical, right? Or but is I that think just people fear is the Pride beginning is. of all of that. The right. f- fear of, you know, people are going to look at me bad. I yes. should pompously walk around. You know, just it's the root. Fear is the root of where pride maybe even comes from. Who you know, we're all mm-hmm. born baby and maybe. innocent. I just think it goes, and it leads to all of it leads yeah. to anger. Yeah, you know, wrath and anger mm-hmm. and not which is I'm, the opposite. No of one's going to do that to me. Right. It is the opposite of gentleness. Mm-hmm. And what. Just a quick throw it out there. Mm-hmm. What what do y'all think of? Like right off the bat, when you think of the word gentleness, what's the first thing you think of, Henry? Gentleness, soft spoken. The opposite? Did you say what weak? No. Is that what you're saying? No. Just when I say the word gentle, mm-hmm. do you get a visual image just of anything? Calm. Just a calm person. Gentle. What do you think of? I don't know. I'm too busy fact checking myself on something. Can <laughs> oh, I correct it, please? <laughs> Hit it. Okay. I said anger is the opposite of gentleness. It's just not at all. Like it can lead to the opposite of gentleness, but it's not. Now, what was your question? I like that because the Bible does. It says be angry, but that's sin. right. I mean, there's you a good, angry. healthy, angry anger that yeah. is there. There's nothing sinful about anger, but there's something sinful about uncontrolled anger. Yeah, you know. So I'm sorry. What? I like it. I think there's a yeah. worldly anger. See, that's a whole podcast in itself. It right. is. I think there's a, a fleshly yeah. anger and a righteous anger. Yes, right. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Anger for people, yes. people out there, blatantly but with both, you can't let God. it lead to sin. But yeah. Mm-hmm. So what do you imagine? Do you get any an, an, an image form? What do you imagine when you think of gentle? I think I do. I a do. person? Yeah. I mean, uh, it could be a person. It yeah. could be a, a friend. It could I be. I think Heather. Heather. Oh, I thought Heather you were going to say Hanky. <laughs> <laughs> no. Which would be me, by the way, for those of y'all that don't know. That's what she's called me since we were kids. Yep. yep. And we can't say that on the podcast. Right. So. I'm going to go yeah. with the other H. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah Heather. Yeah. Heather and Stan. And really, Sean is when it. Yep. I should have said Sean oh, yeah. first because Sean is to have to be to have to be married to me. I'm not. I'm not putting myself down, but right. you know, it's Pretty not strong. an easy thing. And he has never mm. iron fisted a situation. He's never tried to control me. Um. Now. I mean, it was yeah. easy to start going his way about 10 years into the marriage because everything he always said would happen did happen, yeah. you know. And But he did not ever try to manhandle the situation. Yeah. I mean, he just has a strong silence, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, a strong yeah. gentleness. He's very gentle, but he strong. He's gentle. You know? Yeah, look, look yeah. at this. Okay, Could, so here's the definition of gentleness again, but let's just say Sean. Sean has softness of manners, mildness of temper, sweetness of disposition, meekness. Yeah. Yeah. I could say yes to all that. That sounds right. Yeah. Y'all think we could put my name in there? Mm-mm. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, nobody I, in our but family. But I'm cooler well, than you None all. of the sibs. <laughs> yeah. I know. Who are who yeah. of us? Hold on. Lisa. Lisa. Oh, yeah. Lisa. Yeah. yeah. Lisa. True. Uh-huh. Does fit it. Yeah. True. She is so gentle. She's man. Gentle. Mm-hmm. She, she is, gentle. is yeah. so gentle. Mm-hmm. Oh, but now I she know. wasn't. Ra- she wasn't raised by a dad. That's mom. the thing. That's right. She was spared. Uh, she- <laughs> Dad's fault. No. <laughs> it's dad and mom, man. She- they were tough. Oh, yeah. Get it. Oh, She'll mom get ain't, it. Mom ain't That's bad. where I get my get it from. <laughs> mom has gentleness in spurts. Yeah, and when oh, she so, does, it's wonderful. Yeah. Oh yeah. Her yeah. wise way. Oh, yeah. so, whenever but, we're. Whew, she ain't. If she's on her non. She ain't afraid to let it rip if she uh-huh. needs to. Yeah. She'll get anybody, oh, yeah. whether uh-huh. I know you or not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh she, 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 she'll let her She's old. Yeah, we didn't have, neither one of our parents were, nope. were uh-huh. ran in gentleness. <laughs> I love it. Mm-hmm. So the, um, so the, okay, I'm just making sure we don't run out of time here. Um, so that, so, but in thinking about it, you know, we're to be like Christ, James 121, um, no, oh, I forgot to put the right. Oh no, there it is. Matthew Matthew eleven twenty eight through thirty says, "Come and, and to me, this is is Christ describing gentleness." Um, 
which, which oh did you finish what you were where you were going oh, with yeah. with the he was asking what do you think of when yeah. you think of gentleness oh um said that so we said you said heather which i think was uh, great you also said sean Dan heather sean. is so sweet and gentle mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. the word sweet comes to mind with heather it doesn't come to mind with your husband sean right yeah he's more he's a man i wouldn't it's, say it's sweetness not sweet in like that you know yeah. but with heather the sweet mm-hmm. is but there's there's certain animals you know that that I think of I think of a of a well behaved dog that just not vicious mm-hmm, and Mac. and it's yep. and it's cuddly and it's your friend mm-hmm. and it's gentle and you know you see little kids will climb on certain dogs and they do nothing they pull their tail they pull their ear and the dogs just so people's like that's a gentle Mm -hmm. creature Mm -hmm. and that gentleness is always also a warm feeling that you feel Mm -hmm. like safe and good and like everything's gonna be okay with that gentleness and it can't. I mean, that goes along with Proverbs 51. A, a soft answer turns away wrath. I mean, yes. Gentleness, reaching out when somebody's punching you verbally in the face, like you were mm-hmm. talking about a second ago. Man, it's, tell me if this isn't the worst, but, but, but when you're lighting somebody up mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. and they I respond to you with, with gentleness, yeah. it's like... I'm you, so sorry that happened to you. That should never have happened to uh, you. Yeah. Let me and it's fix sincere. it for you. And yes. you can tell it's sincere that they're That's like... Sincere. That what you... All the all the junk you just let fly out of your mouth just hit them and flew right off of them. Right. And they just showed you Well, they have their sh- They have a shield. Yeah. You know, the Lord is our yeah. shield, but they, yeah. they have a shield and... And 20 years in, there's not much that gets, you know, there's things that frustrate me and make me mad. But on the phone at this point, that's that's probably a decade of working through this. I had a mm-hmm. situation last night where a realtor called me, wanted to complain about one of my employees. And y'all know. Yeah, you got a bat. <sighs> and it's, I don't know. It's like watching a movie. I don't know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know how you're going to no, behave like, yourself. Has the Lord been working in me? Oh, you know, man. have I been working with him? I'm waiting for the adrenal glands to overflow yeah. and get hit. Yeah. And um, that did not happen. Uh, it, I had a calm conversation. was just basically stood up in a gentle, no-nonsense way. No-nonsense way for my person. And, um, and it all, and she ended up, calling my employee and apologizing to her actually because I you know it was the whole don't don't say anything you know I said I'm getting off the phone and saying something right now I'm calling this person right now actually Mm -hmm. you know I'm not gonna you're not gonna call me and talk to me about my employee me not right not discuss this talk to him about my employee you know there's no way that's happening so anyway this realtor knew that happened and so she ends up reaching out she never even talked to this person in her life but was judging this person yeah and so she ended up unfairly call unfairly it was so unfair it was so unfair and that is normally unfair bullying type stuff gets me going i have no control over that in that case would be a righteous anger type of well it is but there's a way to handle it too because could it could could it be handled it was handled somehow i I was shocked at my behavior honestly because it was calm yeah people think it gives them a right since I'm justified, yes. I actually did nothing right. wrong. Mm-hmm. I have the right, right to smash somebody. And right. It's like, no. Not now you really. Now you have done But wrong that's the fleshy also. way. That is the <laughs> fleshly way the, of dealing with things versus the, the righteous way. It is. I'm justified. Way mm-hmm. of, yeah. yeah. You're not going to do that to me, which then would speak to the pride that you were talking about oh. a second ago. Now I'm going to mm-hmm. give it to you. That's it. But when you're just standing... For the cause of righteousness, you still call like we're called to speak truth and love, and that's and, it. And to yes. absolutely, we're not called to run around. We're be addressing a bunch of pansies, this situation. Be afraid, that's right. You know all this kind. Of, no, we should take the lashes, but but the only way you can do that is if you're fully secure in who you are in Christ. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because if you're trying to find your security in your own abilities, mm-hmm. nobody knows better than we do how bad we stink. Right. You know, I'm analyzing myself all the time. Like, you stink at this, you stink at that, you stink at this. You know, like, man, I know darn well where I stink at because I want to be better. It's not out of a 
self shame, depression, right. not any of that kind of stuff. It's just being aware. I'm, it's I'm just trying to be self aware and trying to be become better. I need more. But so I know a hundred percent. I'll never be fully secure in who I am of myself. But when I'm walking in the security of who I am in Christ and the wholeness that he brings to me and, and my responsibility to those around me to show that, to help them to see the same thing and to feel the same thing, then I can walk, then I can be okay. It becomes more important to me that they feel that no matter what they're doing to me. And that's it. That's, that's it. That's mm-hmm. the whole point. And that, right. Yeah. That gentleness, because pride is about us. Mm-hmm. And I, I can't help but go back to pride again, but pride's about us. But it's one, got a lot, it's got a big, it's a big player. In it this is thing. a big yeah. player. Yeah. Being gentle is, is something that's for others. Mm-hmm. It, it goes out to others. Whenever I, whenever I be gentle with my kids or a pet or a baby, you know, you see a baby. Sometimes you put a brand new baby in the arms of somebody and that baby starts crying and stuff Mm -hmm. because that person is on edge. They're not at peace inside themselves. They're not, you can feel it all over them. And that baby just starts crying randomly. And then you put it in the arms of someone else and the baby just goes to sleep. (laughs) <laughs> You're like, what? Yeah. I've watched people do this. And I'm like, wow, that's almost just so special. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then, then you know, how you, you know, our kids at the house, sometimes one of my kids will walk up in the vicinity of our little dog hunter and he will start growling like that. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, that's because you're never gentle with him. Mm-hmm. And they don't, now they don't care. Lu- Lucy and Jake, they're the, the number two, one and two. Hunter will start growling. That he, they even come near him. And they don't even care. They pick him up, kiss him. He's, a, all this he's, a, he's a gentleness detector. He is. Yeah. You know, <laughs> some of the other, other folks, Carrie comes near him. Not, not a peep. In fact, he just, mm, just. Me too. It's just. If I go near him, he just hops up. Yeah. You know, gentleness is, and I I tell the kids, be gentle, Mm -hmm. be gentle with him. But that gentleness, it opens up all sorts of possibilities for feeling safe, feeling, feeling like someone cares. Tell me if this scripture doesn't go along with that. And this is Christ talking that I was going to read a second ago. Tell you something. Matthew 11, 28 through 30. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest in your souls. Mm-hmm. I mean. Amen, first of all. I just feel better just reading that. Yeah. But you will find rest in your souls. Yeah. I mean, that that is, that's really where all the turmoil happens. Either turmoil happens there or peace happens there. Mm-hmm. And if you're walking in inner turmoil in your soul, you, you're you're gonna have a hard time showing gentleness to anybody around you, but if you're abiding by this and doing this every day, coming to Christ and saying, "Here, here's everything that I have. I'm gonna I'm gonna give this to you. I'm gonna take your yoke upon me, uh, for you are gentle and lowly in heart." Which to me, that's hard to. It's hard for me to grasp Christ lowly in heart. Because I feel like if anybody has cause not to be lowly, he's the only one worthy of all praise, worthy of all glory and honor, right? right? But he says he's lowly in heart, and you will find rest in your souls. And so if we come to him and do that, we will find the rest that our souls need. Mm-hmm. Not on about y'all, but we're, we're in an industry that it's hard to find rest in our souls. Mm-hmm. An industry and a world. Just Everything's so pa- fast paced and, and a little yeah. crazy out there. Mm-hmm. It's definitely, there's this guy that I watched that he just says, Welcome to Clown World every single day. To what it's world? Clown World. Clown yeah. World. So it's, it's <laughs> there's so much crazy. Fast and crazy. Yeah. And, you know, we need rest. And even when, on your social media, it doesn't matter that you're sitting back, chilling out. 
if you're looking at your phone, you don't have any rest. Mm-hmm. It's got your heart going. Mm-hmm. It's yep, got that's right. It's got everything Digital, going. digital yeah. anything for the most mm-hmm. part. Yeah, it's definitely mm-hmm. a, it's definitely a, uh, you know, think, thinking about, you know, back in our days when, yeah, there was TV and there was cable. Oh, who was it? I was talking with Sean, I think, yesterday. And he was talking about how even in cable, even when cable, when he was young. Yeah. You probably had like 10 channels or 15 there channels. There was a th- this thing back then called the outside. We, you want to you wanna describe went, what that is? Yeah. It's probably, when you open the yeah. front door and go out there and entertain yourself. And that was what we all did. Oh, oh gosh. Good. I'm <laughs> like, is this a news channel? Was this like no. a it's program? This, or it's this old thing. They, they don't do going it out, anymore. Going out, I was so lost. I was like, what is this? I saw, I saw that somewhere. I, I, clueless, clueless. Oh, my gosh. I was like, I saw a... Oh uh, I saw a... Uh, a the gift, outside. Or I saw a, yeah. a gift the other day of <laughs> of some young people, two two or three young people, you know, probably twenty or something, standing taking pictures of a phone booth, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and it said uh, today's generation um, taking in old ruins or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this. Uh, they probably had them like, oh my gosh, it's a phone uh-huh. booth, you know. Well, and I, I remember uh, saying, like, when, when cell phones came out, I said, if I ever have to get a cell phone because I'm too busy, then I'm too busy. Then I'm well, too busy. Please. Now I could your whole not world happens on that. One now. I mean, there was no beating that back. I had no idea. I was forced to get a cell phone. My boss made me get one. He's like, I'm not asking. I was like, mm-hmm. oh, <laughs> but I don't do that. And he's like, see you tomorrow with the cell phone. I was like, dang it. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to do this. Not me. I was glad to have one. Yeah, he, he was cool. the first. You're a techie. Yeah. You're always like technology. But yeah. honestly, if I could wipe it all out now, I would in a second. If Push I could the just yeah. go back Push to answer button. machines. And, yeah. And I, I mean, I, we need to have some. I think, and no, but but nobody wants Nobody has to hear from you in five yes. minutes or less. Yes. Oh, yes. Or they get well, you their just, feelings It was fun. Hurt. You get home yeah. and you check the answer machine. Yeah. yeah. Is the light blinking? Oh, I know. <laughs> you that know, the light's oh. blinking. Can, well, I, hey, can I hit play? Uh-huh. It makes you think of dad's voicemail. See, he had his cell phone. And remember, uh-huh. he, at the, <laughs> this is a cell phone. He has I'm a cell phone. I'm not home right now. I'm, I'm not, not home right, right now. now. We're always like, dad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not at home right now. We're like, dad. It don't matter. You have a cell phone answer when I call you. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'll always love that. Uh What was it? 433-6559? 6549935. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, That's it. I still call it every now and then. (laughs) Does anybody answer? Does anybody answer? answer? No. No, it's just not. I don't call it right now. You know? There will be no See if anybody answers. There shall be no answer. There shall be no answer. He's in heaven. He's, Mm -hmm. He's... all right, let me read one more. He's scripture. at peace. Let's He's live. happy and content and yes. joy filled and all that. Has rest in his soul. Has rest in his soul. Yes. <laughs> all right, James one twenty one. We'll close out with this. Know this, my beloved brothers. Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. For the anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Therefore, put away all filthiness and rampant wickedness, which y'all, this just goes along with what we were just talking mm-hmm. about. Um, and receive with meekness the implanted word, which is able to save your souls. There's just nothing about that scripture that says rise up. You know, mm-hmm. it's talking about with meekness. We're talking about Christ and the meekness with, him, with which he acted. I'm talking about a soft answer, turning away wrath. Mm-hmm. I mean, the cool thing again, if you're walking in the presence of God, these are the things that, that will naturally happen. I like it. I think about the word gentle and tenderness kind of goes hand in hand with that word, wouldn't mm-hmm. you say? And does that mean, does that make you think of the Otis writing song? Try, Try a, little a little tenderness. tenderness. Yeah. She may get weary, all that uh-huh. stuff, that song. Uh-huh. She, yeah. good he's like, hey, be, be gentle, be tender to her. You mm-hmm. know, you're, in this case, he's talking about his wife. Yeah. And I I love that. Try a little tenderness. Mm -hmm. Try a little gentleness. Mm. It goes a long, especially in a marriage, long ways. Mm -hmm. Gentle. In preparing for this podcast, I was thinking about 
my marriage and and I thought, you know, I could think of a million different things that happened that I, I think, man, if I'd have just been gentle in that moment. Gentle. Yeah. The conversation would have been different. Yeah, I knew she was trying, but we were just so far off on different pages and I would get frustrated about it mm-hmm. and become silent or, you know, I didn't want to yell or anything like that, but just, but you can hear the frustration in my voice or, mm-hmm. or you I've just sitting been there. called intense, you know, yeah, you're just sitting there. You have a look. Yeah, I have a look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Henry look. Yeah. Henry you've nothing, got a look. There's the rest nothing, of us yeah. can hide it. He can't hide it. No, oh. no. My face gives it away. <laughs> it's so bad. And there's nothing gentle about it. And it I'm doesn't like, make you feel secure. It doesn't make you, yeah. I like yeah. what Jenny said earlier. I was like, pride first comes fear. And I'm like, you were probably afraid that she wouldn't yeah. hear you, that she wouldn't um, see what exactly you're saying. exactly I completely the, agree. The fear of not being heard. Sure fear of not being validated that, and, you and know, how hard I was trying. Understood. Understood mm-hmm. all of those. Absolutely. It's insecurities, again, that goes back to, I, I was counting on myself, and I think, and and not counting on. Well, you have so many validated fears in your life, right? You're afraid of something, and that happens. Yeah, and that's why the the verse that got me through the last ten years really is the one that I refer back to a lot. Mm. That one that the mm. three that I talked about earlier. That's it. The Lord is those things. It doesn't matter if wife or husband or whoever reacts right Mm -hmm. you know the lord is all those things to me and therefore i will you know be saved basically so the more you get to that the less it matters Mm -hmm. how the person across from you reacts you're accepting of it whatever it is you do you're accepting of Mm -hmm. it and then but the lord is all these things he is your Mm -hmm. fulfiller of your heart and that chases away. That's why it says perfect love casts out fear. Yes. That's it. Yes. Once you uh, accept that love from God, the fear is gone, which leads to, you know, no pride and gentleness. I imagine. It's got to be a train like that. I imagine good. gentleness being like when you're having a conflict with somebody, it's like they're in a room that has no doors that they can't get out of. Yeah. And gentleness is an opportunity. If you're gentle, it gives them an opportunity to go through that door yep. to True. a place that could work and get out of that cage. Yeah. Because harshness will make them just... And experience the same peace that nope. you're walking yeah. in in the moment. Absolutely. Oh, this is yeah. the, first, the first lady I worked for in the mortgage industry was a super strong woman. And uh, I didn't work for her long enough to really be mentored by her. But she said, get, always give someone a way to save face. Yes. Don't just don't just bulldoze. You know, get because you got to make them right in some way for them to admit they're wrong. Mm, Yeah. You know, give them a door. Mm -hmm. Be gentle. Gentleness. It just opens a door. Yeah. Yeah, You can't do that with pride. You can't do that walking. Mm -hmm. If you have pride, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not going to get you there. Mm -hmm. Was, what a good discussion, Jenny. It was so fun that having you fun. on here. That was fun. This is clearly going to be a thing. Um, yeah, you killed it. No, I stopped smiling. The first 10 yeah. minutes, I couldn't get the silly smile <laughs> off my yeah. face. It is weird. Like, you put why the, can't I do this? Cut you put the mic on. in front of your face, <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> oh, microphone. oh, whenever Carrie was on here, you know how, I mean, opinionated and this yeah. and that, Carrie. I mean, she's not afraid to say what's on she's her mind. She's bold. She's bold. Bold. And it was so cute. Same thing with you. Oh, she got put some. on her and her shoulders kind of bunched up like, oh, my God. <laughs> I noticed she was down like 10 decibels oh, yeah. when she was talking on the microphone. Yeah. And it was a whole carry I'd never heard before. Yeah. She's high energy, high octane. Oh, yeah. All yes. of that. All go. Yeah. But on yeah. here, totally. And I... I felt that happen mm. myself immediately. I was like, where'd my voice go? Now y'all can understand. <laughs> now y'all can understand why we stank it up so bad. <laughs> yeah. On the first, first uh, however ten. many episodes. And hopefully, Ooh, I'd hopefully say ten, don't yeah. now. No. Feels pretty good yeah, now. So much better now. It's good. Yeah. So it took Jenny about a half a show to get to the same level that we're at after a year. After, but that's yeah. okay. After that's six months. I've been listening. You know, yeah. <laughs> she's like, I'm when I'm, I'm on the there. Gist. When I'm on there, I'm not going to do that. Yep. And I'm not <laughs> going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> no slurping. Uh, I can tell you that. No right slurping now. the coffee drink. <laughs> oh gosh, this is probably my favorite one yet. Jenny, oh. thank thank you for joining us. Thank you, thank you for having me, wonderful. guys. Yeah, let's fun. close out in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your gentleness, Lord. We thank you that uh, 
uh, it never goes away, Father, that, that, uh, that anytime we turn to you and run to you, Father, that you truly are a stronghold. And Lord, we ask that you help us to exhibit, exhibit those same attributes and characteristics to those around us. We love you and we worship you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel. Amen. Because I've been waiting for the last, while you've been For me to finished. I've been waiting right. for 10 dang years. Yeah.